Hey good people, it's Cece Devereaux and I have another DIY project for you guys. Since it's the holidays, I am in the spirit. So I wanted to try my hand at creating a Christmas sweater. Just something really simple, it's really easy. I have a no sew and a sewing option for you guys. For my sweaters, I went to my local thrift store. They were both $3.99. And then I just wanted to throw in a sweatshirt just to try it out. That was only $7.99 from Walmart, so very inexpensive. I knew I wanted to use flannel to decorate the shirt, so while I was at the thrift store, I picked up some different color options. I used some pajama pants, I used a shirt, as well as a pajama shirt so anything that had the correct color that I was looking for I grabbed it and they were all $1.99 you can also go to your local fabric store do like a half a yard just keep it really small because you don't need a lot for this project you'll also need some scissors some printouts for your pattern I just searched for mine on Google and printed it out on regular paper you'll need some straight pins some needle and thread and for my people that are not sewing you'll need some type of fabric glue all right guys let's get into it first I cut out my design to turn it into my pattern the more detailed your pattern the more difficult it will be to cut out and you may not be able to see all the details when you go to transfer it to your shirt once your pattern is cut out you're then going to cut out your fabric you're going to want to pin it to the fabric just to make sure that it stays in place and that's when your handy dandy straight pins come into play The pajama shirt that I picked up to use as fabric had these really pretty buttons. They're kind of like jewels on the shirt. So I decided to use those in the design as well. You'll see what I do with that later. All right, here's what it looks like after I cut out all of the patterns and transfer it to the shirt. Now we're going to attach them using the sewing and the gluing methods. I like to hand sew these patches onto the shirt because I like the way the large base stitch looks, the running stitch looks. I like the look of that. So I also like to use thread that's contrast to the color of the fabric so that it really stands out. But I just do a simple running stitch all the way around the pattern perimeter. Here's what that running stitch looks like so far. I also used a hemming stitch that gave it a really nice look too. For my no sew folks, you're going to still want to pin down the shirt just to make sure that it stays in place while you're gluing. And I just did little by little, dab by dab until it was completely covered. You want to use minimal amounts of glue because you don't want big globs <laughs> underneath your pattern. But then once you're done with the gluing, you want to let it dry for about 24 hours at least and you're all done. And here's the final result, a really cute, simple winter Christmas sweater. You can do whatever pattern you want. You can do it in whatever color you want. You don't even have to use flannel. You can use African print or whatever fun print you want to try out. And as you can see, this is what I did with those buttons. You can do all sorts of things, guys. Just have fun with it. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because it helps your girl out a lot. And I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, until next time. Bye good people.